We've all been there, stuck in traffic on a Friday afternoon, only to notice a swarm of taxis smugly zipping past hundreds of motorists. If there's one thing that South Africans despise, it's our minibus taxis. These overcrowded people wagons transport up to 16 million commuters every day. Their talents range from ignoring the colour red to stopping in the most inconvenient places possible. If you're not in the taxi, chances are you're cursing them. But here's what you may not know about South African taxis. Let's head back to the 1970s. Ah, a time before taxis, where public transport was actually reliable. Not really. The government chose trains as the best way to get around. Being apartheid and all, the trains were disproportionately split into white upper class and black lower class carriages. So the trains ended up packed with black and coloured commuters on one much smaller side and completely empty on the other. <coughs> This meant that hundreds of black and coloured workers were left stranded at the station every day. And this is where the taxi industry began. If you were black and had a car, you were in business. Drivers began charging for lifts in and out of the city. But police were on the lookout for any cars going back and forth throughout the day and would arrest any suspected taxi drivers. But this never scared them off and the taxi industry has been battling hardships ever since. They've managed to build a 40 billion rand industry with 250,000 vehicles and 600,000 registered drivers. You only have to hitch a ride in one to notice there's a whole load of do's and don'ts. For starters, you've got to know the right hand sign for the area you're traveling to to be able to flag a taxi down. Hand signs range from indexical to extremely descriptive. Let's take the sign for Marapastad, for example. In 2001, a local taxi driver was allegedly murdered for Muti. Muti usually involves some pretty unique ingredients, such as male testicles, for example. The sign seems to make a bit more sense now. Taxis are known for being fearlessly reckless. When the industry started booming, businessmen, or taxi pimps, started investing in Toyota minibuses. These taxi pimps set up ridiculous quotas for their drivers to meet each day. And this is probably why taxi drivers take so many chances on the roads. It's also the reason why there's a taxi sign language and why most drivers work from 4.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. every single day. It's strategic, but perhaps even necessary. 